Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and this is World Buster Thanos coming in hot to destroy all of these b world bosses that were trying to take the throne away from him, but were unsuccessful. So here we go, popping the tier three, procking on it, and letting that rip for tons of damage here, tons of bars, and then right back into my three, five, four combo, juicy two to three bars of action. And what I want to showcase in addition to his damage is the insane utility of his first skill. We're able to not only dodge his mechanics, but we're able to stop his optimization using that first skill because it moves and you can move with the V-pad. So you dodge him, you dodge out of the way of his whatever spears or whatever his attack is, and then the lasers queue up and hit him to interrupt the optimization. So it's one of the best skills in the game for this content because of the fact that the gimmick is you have to continuously hit Ultron in order to stop him from optimizing because as you guys know if you've played this content as soon as you optimize Ultron does some very dirty nasty things and makes the uh, fight a lot more difficult for you and so this ability this beam is so clutch right yeah you might miss a proc here and there and that's okay you can set up for your next proc but what's important is you don't lose sight of the real prize which is continuously dealing damage to Ultron so that you don't get into optimization because getting into optimization basically is going to lose you a minimum of 30 seconds and look at the targeting on Ultron's fourth skill it's so good he stays with um he stays with or sorry the the targeting on Thanos he stays with Ultron even as Ultron flies around the arena so we got him into the invincibility phase the one thing with all Thanos rotations you need to remember is you have to respect the cooldown on his fifth skill the cooldown on his fifth skill is so important here he's going to optimize and that's okay we actually could have stopped him if we had our skills up a little bit faster but uh we're, you're gonna see now during the optimization phase how good that first skill is so i'm gonna pop it at the beginning here we get to we get to create distance thanos is fast as hell so you can see how i can always position myself to be where i need to be look at this you can put it's like an offensive and defensive ability at the same time so good and there we go and now we pop the six bada bing bada boom and we're off to the damage races absolutely gorgeous so i don't start my rotation i don't start with one until i see that the fifth skill has one second left on the cooldown if you start your two cancel one cancel three too fast you can end up not having or not being able to press five soon enough and then you'll proc a little bit early so i always wait for five to have one second and then i do uh, two one three five four and then you'll also notice that I've been doing two, one, three, four, five when I get to the tier three rotation. And that's because I find that it's a lot easier to cancel there. I shouldn't have canceled into six at all, but it's, I find it a lot easier to cancel. Um, oh, I had to switch there. I was going to die, but it's a lot easier to cancel uh, out of the five into the six versus out of the four. Okay. Give him a little punch, give him a little tickle here. And here you can see against these spears how good this laser attack is because look at that i got my distance and i was also able so like i dodged the attack but i was also able to then punish him and interrupt his next uh phase now i think we're gonna finish him here oh yes so 90 seconds left on stage nine and i could probably clean that up and do it even faster but i have to say for the sheer utility the sheer value of that first skill Thanos is amazing for this fight amongst supervillains who often aren't that good because what I find for a lot of supervillains although they can be really good for Infinity Ultron don't get me wrong and obviously players have climbed up beyond stage 24 because it's not a roadblock for all players but a lot of the existing villains like Moonstone and Loki they have a rotation that they do and then they wait for a few seconds and that waiting is really bad and really helps Ultron optimize with the, with that dead air that dead space of two to three seconds Thanos doesn't really have that he's almost constantly dealing damage which again is really good for the Ultron fight but now I want to show you guys something a little bit different I'm going to take Thanos up against Thanos this is not necessarily difficult content but what I want to show you is that his PvP passive actually has value in PvE and we can actually confirm this versus Thanos himself. Check this out. So during the first nine bars of Thanos' health, he doesn't have any special buffs. But afterwards, he will have a buff that makes him debuff immune. And this Thanos applies a minus 60% all defense down, which is a lot of all defense down. 
So you would think that in the second phase, not having access to that all day de defense down would make Thanos deal less damage, our Thanos. But actually, he's going to deal more damage, as you'll see, which is really interesting. So check this out. So whatever, we're doing, the, we're doing the fight here. We can basically tank all these attacks. I also have an extra tip for you if you're playing as Thanos. You can get hit. If you're using Thanos' leadership, you can get hit by some of the stage mechanics. Oh, I shouldn't have. I thought I had six ready. We're procking out five here, so we're not doing much damage. That's, that's okay. Here we go. We'll proc on six. But you can get hit by the stage mechanics like the tornado if you're using Thanos' leadership because it will trigger your heal just like Falcon does, except Falcon has to dodge. So you don't want to get hit by more powerful attacks like the actual boss does or like the meteors here, but those tornadoes don't really hit for much damage, so you can get hit by them safely and trigger the heal if you need it. But check out the damage. Check out how the damage is going to scale up now. Look at this. Whoa, the bars just start flying. They just start flying, my dude. And you know why? It's because Thanos has that little um, yellow uh, feather that remove all debuff. So I'm gonna get that 80, I think it's an 80% damage increase because of that feather. Isn't that wild? Look at this, really berserk damage. Like the fight goes by so much faster now. The second phase is so much faster than the first phase because of this. It's actually crazy. Look at that, gone. Actually crazy. So in the future, if there's content where the enemy has debuff immunity, and if it's if it's an active skill, an active buff, I guess, Thanos is going to be able to take advantage of his passive, which otherwise we all thought was only for PvP, and he will be able to deal more damage. There it is. Increases damage dealt to targets with the remove all debuffs by 80%. 80% is crazy. Yeah. So I should we should test this out in like GBR because we know both GBR. Uh, Master Mold and Galactus have that debuff. And if we ever get a new GBR, they'll probably have debuff immunity as well. So Thanos should continue to remain meta-ish at the very least for this content because of how powerful that effect is. 80% increased damage is wild. But okay, I've shown you some pretty low stages. 99 of Thanos, 9 of Null, of um, Ultron. What about Null? Can we hit stage 35? Can we finally do stage 35? Let's check it out. This was the hurdle that I could not cross with a regular obelisk. So we're back and I'm hoping to see some big things from the purple grape. We gotta respect the cooldown on five and then we're gonna pop the six. And the advice that I have for you after running this quite a few times is do not cancel the six skill until you're very, very sure. And then always proc on the six skill. People are gonna tell you other things. Just tell them, no, 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 trust me. Alex hooked me up. You want to proc on the six. This is where all the damage is. This is where you're going to see the big numbers. You're going to see the lots of bars flying. This is where you want to be. So we're rocking this out. We're already into the second cage. He barely gets knocked back. He barely gets interrupted. It's gorgeous damage, especially for a character that we thought basically had zero PVE potential. Look at this, blopping those, dodging both cages. You absolutely love to see it. We pop the six again, and we see one bar, two bars, three bars. Oh yeah. And we waited out that tentacle slash so that it wouldn't interrupt our fourth skill. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna finish him here with one more tier three. I think we might've missed a proc because it's a little bit slow. But that's okay. We usually finish this at about 345. And I've done a, a couple of runs to the end that have finished really, really well. But this is okay too. Because it's Thanos, baby. And he rocks out. So here, because we stay in the iframe for so long, Null actually waits for us and basically waits for our next proc. He's such a gentleman. And he does not uh, do his attacks. Because Null doesn't have iframe ignore the way that other bosses do. So he's just going to stand there and wait for you to get out of your iframe. Very, very kind boss. And here we go. We're just going to sit in the iframe. We're not going to do anything. He's just going to soak up all this, all this damage, all this hurt. And we're going to go right into the next rotation. Boom. Ooh, ooh, just shy. There we go. Use the co-op skill to get through. Bro, he's, he's flying. Very few characters, let me tell you this right now, very few characters are better in the second phase of, ult of Null versus the first phase. 
Uh, Thanos is one of the few characters that's actually, in my opinion, better. Because this long iframe is so good for breaking up uh, his attacks and for allowing you to get your combos off faster and faster and faster. So you really have... Okay, there we didn't do too well. That's okay. We absorb a couple of hits from the old spikes. All right. There we go. There's our combo, and we're ripping the damage here. Flying through the bars. Look at that. Look at the targeting on four. He doesn't stop. Look at the targeting on four. He does not stop. You love to see it. So Thanos continued in the fourth skill, right? The, 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 the slashing, the throwing, the beam, even though Null was jumping over him to, to uh, prep for this dragon phase. The targeting on his fourth skill is so good. And the fact that the skill continues and doesn't get interrupted like a lot of other character skills do is actually so clutch. Okay, we're going to play this one a little slow. That damage was a little slow as well, but we're going to play this one a little bit slow. We could have popped the tier 3. There we got a nice little heal from those uh, circles. Actually, you know what? We are going to pop the tier 3. I lied. We're going to pop the tier 3 because we'll be able to charge it up again. This is not the ideal rotation, but look at this. We can move around. There's so much flexibility with his build. I love it. Absolutely love it. We delay this. No guard break. You love to see it. All right. All right, the last run that I did, we finished at a minute. So this one's definitely slower. I'm not going to lie to you. This is definitely a slower run, but that's okay because we set it up perfectly. Here we go. We wait for him. We pop the tier three. Then we do our rotation with the six skill popping. Juicy three, four bars. Then we dip out with the first skill. Look at that damage. And he sits there. Sorry, I breathed into the mic, but he sits there and absorbs all that damage. Thanos is an absolute tank. And then we pop the tier three again. Look at this, boys. This could not be an easier run. So smooth, so easy. I'm doing it while I'm talking, and I can actually improve that clear speed by about 30 seconds, and I'll show you guys um, a screenshot that I took that I posted on Discord. He can do this with a minute left, which means that he can climb. That's the really good thing. So he can climb with better supports. You can put in better strikers. Like I left out a little bit of wiggle room. For example, you can switch out Scourge or Thane with um, Hydra Cap to give you an extra 12% increased damage to villains, which is a huge bump. Uh, also, if we get any new villain uh, leaderships or supports, if Black Cat gets a tier three or a Transcendence, you can swap out Taskmaster or Mystique. You can also give him more Odin's Blessings because my Thanos only has two, or you could even give him a Reforged Energy or something like that. I don't think he needs the Guard Break Immunity from a Reforged Destruction, although the Strike proc would be helpful because of the Ignore Dodge. But honestly, man, he's so strong. I'm really liking it. He's not the best villain in the game, of course, but he is so strong in his own right. And I would honestly feel pretty comfortable taking this build into PvP and rattling off a couple of wins here and there. Not going to be as good as a full PvP build, but he is definitely one of those two-way characters, like Beast Mode said, that can get you, that can give you value on both ends of the game for PvE and PvP. So that's what the rest of the build looks like there. And I'm rank, what, 1475. So we still have a lot of room to grow. And it's a very competitive field for the Mad Titan. So with that being said, let me know what you thought of this CTP PVE showcase. PVP is coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.